Hey what's up guys, this is week 3 of the fry and well got some good news and got some slightly bad news but as you can see there's the mom where is the dad or the babies hmm no I'm just kidding guys um, all the fry are actually doing pretty decent uh, I did run into um, a bit of an issue and I will explain what happened uh, you're probably wondering like where is the dad like where are the babies and they're just Roman um, actually they're Roman and you can see the little one up front here he's just kinda chilling the size for them though uh, they've grown a little bit but they haven't grown a lot I would say uh, they're still eating from the parents you're just still probably wondering like what happened to the dad like where are the other fry actually the babies are starting to roam a lot so they're exploring the tank and they're not just like hovering around the parents so actually all of them decided to collectively go way back there and just explore so that's what the dad is you can see him in the middle there back here he's following them so like actually they they're still kind of watching over the kids so they're taking turns kind of if the if the majority of them go back there you'll see actually both parents go back there and if the majority of them are out in front here they'll go up here but the mom tends to kind of follow me a lot so if she sees me up here she thinks I'm feeding so she's like out here a lot and so that's what it is uh, the one thing with the fry though is it's probably going to be hard to show but they're getting a lot of um, nim um, fin nip nippage I guess from each other they're really ferocious with each other. They they like to run around, pick at each other, and it's really really bad, actually. So I mean, I know that's just like obviously them playing around and just you know whatever, but it's leaving like marks and like a lot of them are missing like little bits of fins here and there, and so it's pretty pretty crazy stuff. Uh, all of them are still alive, I believe. I didn't see any dead bodies or anything like that. So they're still doing good there. They're still eating from the parents, like I said, so they probably got another week or so of that. The dad's still chilling back there. He's just like resting. He's like, come on, let's go, guys. But uh, as you can see, you can see kind of a couple of them pop up in the back there, the babies. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think they're just exploring, so they don't want to really show themselves up here. But let me kind of go through uh, what happened um, the past week, I guess, since the last video. Um... I was feeding them and I was kind of feeding them maybe I want to say like three times a day or so and I was really paying attention to the parents because they were getting hungry you know um, the other thing with the parents was they're getting hungry you know obviously because they have they're feeding their other kids and they're losing a lot of like slime coat and all that so I was making sure they're healthy but I didn't realize um, that they weren't eating all of the food so there was a lot of food stuck in the, the plants here and there and I was like okay you know I figured you know the leftover food I have other fish in here that they'll take care of that but what's, what, ha what was happening was because a lot of this uh, area here is protected by these two pairs they would not allow any fish near this area they would just like eat them they, I mean they would just physically run and bite them and just fend them off so a lot of the food was just getting trapped in between these japonicas and starting to rot so the ammonia kind of spiked just a little bit um, it was like 0.25 ppm like above normal I mean it's not a lot but I, I luckily you know I, I, I watched the parents closer than the actual babies and I noticed um, them acting a little funny so I did a, a off, I know, off routine I guess water change and that definitely helped them out they instantly recovered and it looks like they're still like doing a lot better or recovering so I gotta definitely watch that and I'll have to actually start watching for those food that get stuck there so that was one thing that I ran into was the uh, random ammonia spike because of the, uh, the food getting stuck between the plants and yeah I guess that's the drawback with having a planet tank or any other stuff it's like un uneaten food here and there but um, I should be fine now that I know that they don't really eat all the food 
So I'll just watch for those. The other thing was the parents. They look beat up like, like heck. Um, it's hard to see on this one, but if you look really close, you'll see kind of like white spots everywhere on the mom. Kind of like the scale has been kind of picked off, and it's because it's from the babies. It's both parents. They look like this from both sides. They look completely like trash. Um, and I, you know, obviously it's gonna be like this until you know the fry stops eating from them, but. They're getting beat up, and their fins here and there are getting beat up. Actually, the the dad here, he comes out, he's coming out right now. Um, one side, he's he's gotten pecked at one side so many times that it's like leaving like a, kind of a mark. Not on this side, but once he flips around, uh, it's, it left a, a little white mark there. And like I guess the fry think it's food or something. They keep pecking at that same spot, and won't and won't let him uh won't let him heal, but. The fry are doing good, as you, know, so as you can see the dad kind of went out just to check out what was going on and went back there to make sure the, the other fries are good. But, you know, these two are kind of swimming around doing their thing here, these little fries. And they're looking good, they're looking healthy. Um, the growth is, is kind of like leveled off, they're kind of a little bit slower. And they're still not eating solid food. They're kind of eating like, um, I guess, algae here and there on the plants, because there is algae. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I did notice the the stripes on the babies are a lot, or they're showing a lot now. Like they're like they have the same stripe as the mom here. You can see with the one across their eye. Like all of them has that, so it's pretty cool. And a lot of them, as you can see, like this one here, it's kind of hard to see, but they have a lot of hint of red along their fins, kind of like their mom and dad. The color pattern I can't really tell because obviously they're too young. They probably have a lot of um, bars when they're younger and then slowly de develop their solid colors. But it's just really cool that they're starting to resemble a little bit of their parents' traits and here and there. And I, I, I can kind of see that some of them are similar to the mom, some are similar to the dad in terms of like the color here and there. But it's pretty cool. So they're doing fine. The tank is... It's rolling, it's doing good, plants are doing good. The japonicas are starting to melt a little bit and I think it's just kind of shedding. Like they all decided to shed at the same time so I'm having like random leaves here and there. So I'm going to start, let me kind of zoom out and kind of show you guys here. So, dad's back there. I don't know if you can see but there's a bunch of fry there. You can see them in here too. So they're all like just back here just chilling. But let me kind of zoom into this little fry here so you can kind of get an idea okay so what's going on okay it's, he's running away he's running away doing the thing let me see if I can show you guys the parent a little bit here She's kind of beat up. And she's going to recover. And dad's just chilling back there. He's doing the babysitting for now. But yeah. This is week three. They're doing good. They're growing. Slowly. Peace.